about chapters 15 all the way to 16 in The Last Quintista by Donna Barbara Higuara. Um, this is a Newberry Medal winner, which is pretty impressive considering that winning a Newberry Medal is very hard, though there isn't actually a Newberry Medal here. Uh, so Donna, Donna Barbara Higuara has also won the Pura Belpre Honor, which is a pretty good honor. Um, and I, I've read a lot of other authors who have won this honor. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, and all those books are actually very, very good. And I hope that you really, really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, I mean, we've already gone through 14 chapters, well, now 16, because we're talking about the last six, last two chapters. Well, not the last two chapters of the book. I mean, like the last two chapters of the of the 16 chapters that we've already read. Okay, chapter 15. We are at a pretty, ah, uh, let's just say serious moment, right? I mean. First of all, Earth got annihilated, which I really do hate. I mean, like, I like sci-fi, and I'm, I like, like, movies about evil guys. I mean, I'm a big fan of Star Wars, of Marvel. I mean, like, I'm like, Marvel, Marvel, Star Wars, Star Wars. I love X-Men. I mean, I love all those kinds of things, and especially other sci-fi movies, uh, like Wall-E, which is a Pixar animation, and I love it. Uh, and other just yeah random star sci-fi movies but i mean this is a sci-fi book and i've read lots of sci-fi books like ender's game awesome uh and i read others too but this i think that this is very interesting because it doesn't really show anything it's not like a happy novel yeah like think about most newberry Metal winners. What's one trait that they share? Okay, now I'm gonna spoil the whole thing, but they're mostly not happy. And and so far, how many of the book has progressed? And do you think that? How do you think everything is gonna end? Do you think that it's gonna end with with like a takeover? Do you think it's gonna end with like a happy life as Sagan with the Chancellor gone? Do you think that everybody's gonna get like unbrainwashed? What do you think is gonna happen next? Okay, now chapter 15. So first there's like, yeah, um, so really, um, what we're what they're showing right now is like there's like a big gathering, and then there is Earth. There's Earth, and this, and there's like a huge green Earth. And what? Why do you think? At first, at least, why do you think that the Chancellor was showing this? I think it was because she was like, okay. I mean, at first, like when you just read that, you know, it was Earth, and you didn't read anything else like about the comet or anything. Why do you think that the Chancellor had, said, had you know, shown everybody this? I thought it was like, oh, maybe she's just saying like, she's just pointing out all the bad things, like, you know, like climate change, cities, polluted areas, the great carpet, the great Pacific garbage patch. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I didn't know, maybe that was my guess. And then there was that comment. And suddenly I was like, oh my, oh my God. She's gonna show them the exploding planet. Now, what did you think was going to be the response? Terror? Anger? Did you expect when, and then, you know, like, did, I mean, think about it. A huge asteroid landing in the Pacific Ocean. Hawaii and Fiji almost, oh, like, in, almost instantly decimated. The United States and Japan, I mean, everything. It's just gonna get destroyed. And I think that that is sad. It, I, I just, I really was surprised when everybody was like, ooh, ah. I mean like, it's like, it's like you are watching TV and like you are like, or maybe like it's a video game and you're like, okay, I'm ready for this card racing game. Ooh, ah. I got it! Ah, I'm getting it! Like, 
or like, oh my god, look at that monster, oh my god, wow, 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 wow. It's like that, not like, you know, a whole planet getting decimated into pieces of ash and debris with, mil with billions of people dying. I mean, seriously, there's not something to ooh and ah about. And how did you feel when you just read this? When you just, you know, and how did you feel when this hologram showed the decimation of Earth? You live on Earth. Unless um, it's somehow now it's like a hundred years from when this was made. And now we're living in, moon, in the, on the moon or on Mars or on an international space station. Uh, I, I have no idea. Um, I cannot tell the future and it's sort of, I'm sort of like trapped here. I mean, of course, I'm still moving on. I'm like, I'm moving on right now. I'm moving on to the future. Well, I'm not in the future because I'm just in the present, but I just moved on to the future, which is, now, which is now the present, right? So I'm right now in the present, but I'm still moving into the future, which is now the present, which is going to be the future, which is now the present. I'm, you get the point, right? Um, so I, I, I'm sort of trapped here until, you know, my life gets all the way to what's gonna happen i mean for all i know like 10 years from now drones are going to be delivering everything and there's gonna be no need for delivery boys because you know the drone can just deliver the pizza um or the chicken nuggets or the i don't know hamburgers or the or maybe the robots are even gonna you know change everything like you know the school fundraisers where you have to walk around asking for like you know if you're gonna buy this or not well Robots could just replace that. Now, how does it feel when, how did it feel really when that, when the comet crashed into Earth? When it went into the Pacific? When it high, in, annihilated Hawaii and Fiji? And then went on to the United States and Japan? How did you feel? And even that there, that no matter what, this, fa this story is going to be sort of tinged with sadness. Because even if they find a way to live on Sagan, even if they, if they find a good way, Earth is never gonna come back. So, do you think that Earth, I mean, do you think that the ending will also be sad? Or do you think that somehow, somehow the author is going to make sure that the ending isn't sad? We need to think about this hard. Because you might be like. And you might be really bored. But it's not only that. It's, it's, it's the reason. We can't always just read happy books. We need to read sad books. We need to read books that make us think about new things. Even if it's the annihilation, annihilation of our planet. And it also makes me sad that they had to just destroy Hawaii first. I mean, I love Hawaii. I got the two islands here and this Hawaii is awesome. It's like heaven. Now, the chancellor is like, well, okay, I mean, like, who cares? The earth just blew up. I mean, like, who cares about that? Okay, well anyway, we're gonna talk about something else. We're gonna just celebrate, like... Do you think that's the right thing to say when a planet just blew up? Billions of lives weren't saved? You have another question. Why do you think that this even happened? I mean, like, so... This, 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 um... What was it? Was it, like, uh... This comet, right? The comet... Street towards the earth, right? Well, do you think that this is ever going to actually happen? Let me like, do you think that this is actually gonna happen? And I have a question, do you think that this book is realistic or not? I mean like, do you think that this will ever happen to earth? No. How? You might be wondering. Uh, well, it's only because, uh, if you think about it, if you think about it, 
what I'm doing with these hand motions right now is making you try to answer. Why do you think it's not gonna happen? Or do you think that there's like a 100% chance that it's gonna happen? Or do you think that there is a chance that it's gonna happen? Well, no, because NASA, awesome NASA, has, has done the DART missions, right? And if you not if you do not know what the dart missions are, they're basically like uh like an ash like a meteor, I don't know, asteroid, uh like orbit switching like thing. It's like a small spacecraft smashes into the asteroid and it's supposed to switch to orbit a little so that it, if it, this actually does happen, then it won't crash into Earth. So this is not actually gonna happen, but this is a thing that if we actually uh, make one a, a asteroid go off its course that means that if we if there's ever an asteroid coming towards us we can bounce it off orbit and they'll go around the earth we've already done this and it's only like 2022 this i mean of course there's no asteroid heading our way and i mean space is huge so it's going to take a lot of time and already nasa has like mapped a million asteroids so it, we're not gonna have to worry anyway, but this is like, this is a long time. I think it's like 200 uh, years. I have no idea. Uh, I totally forgot, but whatever the case, it's gonna take a long time for anything, any of this to happen. And now we don't need to worry about this. And now would you like to have a new origin to just wipe out everything? everything about, about on earth and just now be like okay i'm having a new origin i'm like brainwashing i love a new origin i'm never going to return to the other origin again i'm just gonna totally forgot about everything that you know is about history earth's history <laughs> do you think that's right no way i mean i love history I can tell you about the Mesopotamians, the ancient Egyptians. I can tell you about the Roman Empire, but I would hate if all of that was lost. Already, lots of our history is lost. We, we can't piece together everything. And now, just ignoring everything that historians have done, forgetting our origin. Because, yeah, Earth is destroyed. But a piece of our origin will always remain in us. And we shouldn't forget it. So I think the Chancellor's like just the opposite of goodness. And I have a question. If how how do you think it would feel if you if you just saw your planet getting destroyed? I mean, and I've already asked you this question, but now think about it in a room who with everybody who loves loves that the planet was destroyed. You can't display any emotion. Do you think that you could stand to not display any emotion? Do you think that you could just stand and be like, do you think that you could do that? No? I don't blame you. I mean, like, I would have, my, my ears would have probably turned red. And I would have, you know, maybe even choked and maybe even sobbed because my loved ones were probably dead. Everything I love, like my home, even this guy. Even that balloon, all the pictures, all the memories, they're still with me. But the places they went, they'll be gone forever, lost in time. And I, and seeing that and seeing people celebrate it, that would make me want to really just explode. Do you know what I mean? Like, have you ever wanted to explode before? Like, be like, oh my God, I want to explode because you're so angry. I know, I, I'm, almost everybody has that feeling. Now, we're gonna talk about some other things. About like how Petra is now searching again for a mother and father. Do you think that they're gonna be totally fine? Or do you think they're already awake like Petra? And if so, do you think that she'll remember? Do you think that they will remember Petra? Or do you think that they're gonna be like, who's she? I didn't think that she, they were gonna remember at all. 
And then we get to the, to the pots. And everybody, there's like empty pots, empty pots. Where do you think that they are all gone? To work already? Or, or were they gone? I thought that they had already gone to work. That was my guess. But then, we learned We learned that they were purged. Killed. A memory erase, erase, erasing that failed. The reprogramming failed. They were killed. Two, 2000, two, oh my God, this is a long time, wow. Wow, that is like a long time. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, it's like, just look at that. 2,218, that's a year. I mean, 2,218, that's basically it. 2,218, that is a long time. And the fact that her dad died too. Almost a lifetime apart, they were killed. They were purged. How do you think that Petra could stand it? Do you think that you could stand it? Javier. He died. Or at least, it's empty. Every one of them, they're all dead. How do you think that you could really grapple with that? What emotions would be filling you? And really, here's another question. How evil, how, how, do you think that you could even stand seeing the, see this, even being in the same room as those people, as the chancellor? Who are they, really? Who are they, in your opinion? What's What's a few words to describe them? Murderers? Traitors? All of them combined? Or just plain evil? And I, I, I want you to think about this. And it's, well, we're just reading it, right? But just think about that terror Petra is right now in. She just learned that her parents are dead and her brother. She is stuck on a ship with like brainwashed people. There's a chip, there's an evil chancellor. She's ba basically on a dictatorship. She's stuck on a ship and she's in a lot of trouble. She's an orphan. How can somebody stand that? Do you think that Petra's, Petra's resistance? break.